Hi guys, I'm here backstage in the green room at the Marquetta for Rabbit Radio with Carl S. Williams. How are you Carl? Very well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks for that first set out there, it was amazing. Okay. I'm going to shoot a few questions your way uh -huh. and we'll see how you go. Alright. Alright, do you dream in colour or black and white and how do your dreams influence your music? Mostly in colour, mostly in colour. And how do they influence my music? Well, there's there's been a number of times when a song has occurred to me in a dream. One of them, uh, one of them was the ghost of Johnny Cash that appeared to me and sat on the end of my bed and dictated the song. And I remember that song when I wrote, woke up, so um, I wrote it. That's awesome. It's a good dream. That is a good dream. <laughs> if you could have any musical instrument in the world. Which one would it be and why? Oh. oh. You're a man of many talents, so I thought I'd throw that one in there. Well, you know, it may seem left field, but I really want a mini mook. I just like played this like tour with this reggae band from New Zealand and the keys player had this mini mook, which is like an old school like 70s synthesizer. Oh. And it was just the coolest thing. And it, yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I could play blues on it, but it'd be an interesting thing. Yeah. Right. to make your music maybe progressive yeah who knows <laughs> okay <clears throat> here's a good one is the hokey pokey really what it's all about hmm <laughs> well that's a good one that's a good question <laughs> I mean you put your left foot in if you do the hokey pokey you turn around you know I mean I suspect that is what it's all about. It's, it's what it's all about, isn't it? I, I think it says it in the song. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely self-evident. Now, for the people, do you have any hidden talents? No. Oh. I think I think um, most of my talents, limited as they are, are uh, in the public view, I'm afraid to say. But um, I, I have really good... I've really good control of my eye muscles and I can pull terrible faces <laughs> that, right there. <laughs> that, uh, that make Yanina, my girlfriend, um, want to run away. So, you know, I feel like that's pretty stupid. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> um, and on a final note and a serious note, mm. um, for the people at home, where can they see you next and what's next for you this year? Well, I guess on a serious note, um, my, my, my next thing is like just working towards a new album and I've been, been doing a lot of writing towards that and, um, and meanwhile I'll be, I'll be definitely playing a, a bunch of um, shows, I've got a lot of festivals booked over the next sort of over the winter months of, of this year so um, yeah and, and, and I guess the next, next one of those is, is uh, in Bundaberg actually at the Bundaberg Rum Distillery which is on a very serious oh. note. Yeah, that is serious. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Uh, awesome, man. Thanks for spending time with us on the couch, Carl. Thank you, Kurt. Thank Go you and check much. this guy out. You won't be disappointed. Thank you. <laughs>